Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. I'm sure, man. This must have been where he slept. Poor kid must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna make it quick with a bullet. Can't let Kenny go through that twice. Can't. I'll take care of it. Come down when you're ready, Kenny. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Stretching. <sighs> Let's go bury the boy with his dog. I wonder what the dog's name was. I'm gonna name him Scruffles. Come on, little boy. Let's go put you with Scruffles. He was your beloved Doberman. He protected everybody. In the house. He was a pit bull mix. With a poodle. They called it. A doble -dool. <laughs> That doesn't work at all. They named it. They called it. A poodle bit. No. Um. A poo do -ber pit. A poo do -ber pit. Or a poo, poo do -ber bowl. They called it a poo do -ber Poo do -ber bowl. Oh god, I can't speak. <laughs> well, that's not even a word. It shouldn't even be in the English language. It shouldn't be in ang any language. Unless it sounds right. Well, let me grab my phone. All right. It was charging on the other side of the room. All right. I want to do some math. All right. So there's... Hold on. Hold on. I, I want to check something real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh. So each one has a 15 achievement. So each one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Each has 6 10 gamer score ones. So I want to find out how much gamer score. I don't know if it's 1,000 or not. I think it's like 700 or something like that. Um. So 60 times 5. So in those ones, it's just 300 gamer score. Um, so 300. Let's see. Um, each episode is 15 times 5. So 375 plus 75 equals plus 300. It's a 500 gamer score game. Oh my god! I think that would creep me out any than and more than any zombie would. Hey! Hey! Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? 
Alright, so The Walking Dead is a 500 gamer score game. Saw someone standing there by the fence. Hold on. <laughs> this is bugging me. I gotta check this out. Okay, so it's a f the game itself is 500 gamer score. Now, these are Vince's chapters and stuff. Alright, so. So. 10. 510, 520, 530, 540, 550, 575, 590. Oh, okay, so with the DLC, it's a 600 achievement game. No, Alright, or 600 like gamer score game. Okay. I'm going to try to do my best to perfect the game with you guys watching. The only one that may not work is Rock, Paper, Scissors, because that's actually got to be one I got to, like, pray for. Because when I'm recording it, for some reason, it just doesn't want to work. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? <laughs> what? Sure. Who? It ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one. All right. Uh, it's two thirty. I should have enough time to get a good chunk of this episode done yet. On track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I'm with Kitty. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well, then hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No, Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Old Mead and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. We can't just come out and tell her her parents are dead. Like, we can't. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Deep down, she knows they're dead. She just doesn't want to believe it. Okay. That's how I would be. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? I'm worried about Omid. He's in bad shape. I need you to stay here. Keep an eye on him. He's got Krista for that. If it comes down to it, I can't rely on Krista to do what has to be done. Not with Clementine in the same house. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can count on me. Good. I like Ben. Like I said, he may have screwed up, but... I don't know. I like Ben. Even with his screwed upness. <laughs> Later on in the game... If you guys haven't played the game, which I don't know why you haven't, but later on in the game there's something involving Ben, and uh, when it gets to the point, I'll uh, let you know what I did accidentally. <laughs> when it came down to it, I was like, oh man, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do the other thing, but I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, when it, when it comes to that part, I'll show you. That's episode f five, I think. Yeah, it's episode 5. I'm pretty sure it's episode 5. So we haven't changed clothes. No one has changed clothes in like... Half a year. We must stink. You think everyone's safe back at the house? Safe as anyone can be these days, I guess. I just hate leaving Clementine alone. As if walkers weren't bad enough, now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. Won't be a problem once we get out on the water. River's just a few blocks up ahead. Did he just, like, hover? It looked like he just, like, hovered a bit. He's like, oh. Uh... fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Holy Jesus. It's a party, everybody. Let's what go the to the party. I have no idea, but someone must be ringing up there. 
I know why, but at this point in time, you're like, I don't know. Good one. Uh, I'm a baby. Let's keep moving. I'm a baby. Wait. Oh my God, Kenny just glitched out for a second. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're. Oh my God. Come on, seriously? You had to know. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Half a like six months in, you know the boats are gonna be. Kenny, man, bad. This is the plan, Lee. This is our best and only shot. You said so yourself back at the house. You agreed with me. Yeah, but that was before we... That was before boats were gone. This one might still be salvageable. Better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'm just saying. God damn it, Kenny. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. All right. Now see, this is one of the parts where it's like, if we kept, like, I don't know, here. Great. Needs a quarter to work. See, wouldn't we have kept a quarter from Larry's pocket? <laughs> I didn't want to walk over there yet, I wanted to show you guys something. I'll show you guys in a minute. The fucked up. That's who would do something like that. Man, I'm tired of seeing you, man. I think that was the same guy. You could, I don't know, you could try and shoot them, but Lee will just say no. <laughs> Maybe this will work. <clears throat> Damn. Built solid. All right, that didn't work. Let's try it again. That ain't gonna work. Okay, we can't even try it again. <laughs> I already know you're empty. Locked. Locked. Let's beat it. One quarter. That's all that pops out is one quarter. I haven't walked bootleg in a while. Okay. If I had more time, I'd do it a bit more, but, eh. Alright, and... Nope, don't want to do that. Yep, I want to use the quarters. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? I thought he was gonna be like, Well, what the fuck? The battery's gone. Hey, I wonder if you can get the quarter before going to the telescope. Alright. No sign of any boots down there. Abandoned. Like every other place in this city. Like every other place, period. Plenty of docks, no boats. No way that one's salvageable. Uh Hey, what's up, girl? What up, dude? Get down. Get 
Get down. Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? So I went into that news. I love it how everyone assumes everyone's just like a guy. <laughs> like I already know it's a girl. But still. Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, taken by surprise. Just wanna talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. All right, Kenny. I love how Kenny just got there and wasn't seen. Yup, and you're not there. Oh, I thought I grabbed it. Kenny. Kenny, I would really appreciate your help. No. I don't know if you can grab that. Like, I think you can. It's just like... Just too, like, slow. I'm tired of people beating on me. You're not from Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, it's okay. Put the gun down. Kenny, no, it's not our guy. Whoa, party! Hi. Who the hell are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Hey, Molly. Molly I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. Not looking for any trouble. Hi. Hi. This is one of my favorite Clementine moments. She's like, hi. <laughs> that sweet, like, that innocent so face. <sighs> They're still arguing. They open the door again. <sighs> Whatever. You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks <sighs> didn't do to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus. Yeah, well, that happens. Well, it's kind of like Woodbury, I guess. But Woodbury's burned. That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, I mean, kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave, along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Mm, well, that's better than just killing them. Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. You know all this. Everyone in Savannah knew. I got a text message. It's a good thing it's just all cutscene right now. 